What is up guys, it's a Wanda Turtle, so more awesome news in the realm of Ultra Shiny and whether or not it's going to be in English. Um, so let's go to Poke Beach as usual and um, also as usual, shout out to Water Pokemon Master for always keeping us up to date. Um, so what they found out was there is a new Glaceon tin featuring Glaceon GX uh, that will be released in uh, the fall. Uh, and so there's still some speculation, so it's not 100% confirmed, but it's feeling more and more um, confident in saying that it's going to be for Ultra Shiny GX. The only Glaceon that has yet to release in English would be the Ultra Shiny one. Um, so yeah, stay tuned for this fall. Um, it's feeling more and more certain that Ultra Shiny GX will be printed in English. So how are we going to celebrate? Um, we will celebrate by of course opening up some more Ultra Shiny. This is a Japanese box so huge opening right here. We're going to open up all 10 packs and see what Ultra Shinies or Shinies we can get. Um, as always with these Japanese ones you get two SRs and one SSR. So really excited about the news. Hope everyone else is. Let me know in the comments below and hit that like button. Um, just you know what, what do you want? Uh, the obvious answer is that Charizard but uh, let's get into the opening. Well, the Pokemon company sure took their time, but it's feeling more and more likely that this set, which was huge release, even um, for people in the US, this was, in my opinion, the biggest by a huge margin as far as the most popular set in Japan. And uh, yeah, it took a little bit of time, um, but I, I'm curious what the rationale for with this kind of timing. Uh, I feel like there's just a lot of hype going on with the tag team, so I feel like they're going to kind of competing with each other. Um, so it's very interesting, but yeah, it's it feels it's obviously not confirmed still, but I can't imagine what else it'll be. So here we go, super excited. This thing's going to be by far the biggest thing, um, in my opinion. It'll trump. I guess it'll come after after Unified Mind, so it's kind of nice timing as well. Uh, so before you spend too much on unified minds uh save some for this set i think this is going to be absolutely amazing set and you're going to want to get your hands on a good amount of product to hunt for those uh those charizards oh boy i don't remember what to do here let's go two although i think it's three all right so we have a deantha a malamar with this like recharge so you can see this is almost like a best of um sun and moon However, it does stop, I think, after... Ooh, right off the bat, here we go. We have our shiny Faruki. That's a very cute one. I like that. And then a Buzz, or, um, Guzzlord, followed by a Gabite, and then Rayquaza. Okay, so it's three to the front. All right, so that that's a crazy good pack. We got a Rayquaza and a shiny. So, um, in in the event that you're not familiar with this set, so all of the non-GXs, basically, uh, I'm pretty sure all of them, come with a shiny variant, and then, so for example, all the GXs come with a shiny as well, and then, so this is a SR rarity, and this one is the, or if it were to be shiny, would be the uh, SSR. So you get one SSR and two SRs. I've seen one video where someone pulled three, but that was... The only uh, time that's ever happened that I'm aware of. Alright, so this time three to front. So as far as the, I'm curious, I don't think it can get as hyped as the Rainbow Charizard, but essentially it's the same art as the Rainbow Charizard, only it's shiny. So if that thing is going to be uh, very contested as far as how sought after the card is, and I feel like it'll come down to how hard it is to pull it. So we do have a Buzzwall and then a Zergatree. So this is the Shatter Rare, <laughs> which is pretty cool. And then, so these packs, at least in Japan, are super loaded. Um, I kind of doubt they'll do the same thing in English. Maybe it'll be similar to like the Korean set, where each pack comes with a GX, comes with the Shatter Rare. Um, yeah, so it's like just super loaded. So yeah, definitely let me know what your thoughts are on this topic. And uh, yeah, come fall. Hey, if you think things are crazy right now in the month of May with so much going on, um, the fall is going to be even crazier if that's somehow possible. 
Ho! Oh, there we go. There's our SSR. I feel like I pulled one of these recently. Uh, so here, we, this is a SSR. So it's the GX in the shiny form. And this is the Ho. Oh, that's a very nice one to pull. Then we have a Xerneas, a uh, Magnezone, and a Shatter. I always just want to say Mount Fuji. So here we go. Our SSR is that Toho. Let's just see. I do feel like these are pretty good cards to send to PSA. I think it is kind of off center though. So I don't think this would get a 10. I'm probably getting a 9. Hmm. I feel like uh, one of the <laughs> one of the thing about these openings, I, I I need to just go reverse order. I feel like very often I hit the SSR really early on. All right, let's go. We got an Acerola, Leaf Blower, Lolan Executor, Combuskin, um, Inke, Swablu, Darkrai, pretty cool, and then a Altaria followed by a Naganadal, and then a Dunsparce for their Shatter Rare. So we most likely still have one SR. Um, I'm already saying is that the SR can also be the full art trainers and the gold cards that's kind of been um, throughout Sun and Moon. Oh, that would be a sick one to pull is the gold Tapu Lele. That thing will probably be um, quite sought after up there. Oh gosh, so many SRs right off the bat. New Lucario, that's another good one. Then we have a Zerg two Zerga trees and a Shaman. Man, we are just pulling really strong. There's our second SR in Shiny Lucario. Man, this set is just so good. Um, really excited. So, and the cool part is, look forward to a lot of a lot of more openings for the uh, Ultra Shiny, whether it's Korean and Japanese, just to keep the hype train going for, um, although fall is quite a long way. So maybe we'll space them out. This is Nana or something like that. Grass Memory, Curlia. Dino, some eggs. Oh my gosh! All right, guys. So this is a monster box. We got three SRs, and in my opinion, this is the best one in the full art Guzma. What an insane box! Oh man, this is definitely something I'd want to get graded. Oh, so I haven't set off my submission to PSA yet, and uh, it's a good thing I've been I've been patient because here's some very good candidates. Wow, this is the best. I, actually, I think I pulled it. Well, I did pull a Charizard one time. I don't remember what the other cards were, but uh, this one's got to be up there as far as the top tier box. All right, we got a Turtonator. Uh, Evelyn maybe. Fire Rotom, Magnemite, Delphox, um, Poiple. Uh, then the evolve. Can't remember your name. Type null. Stack attacker. And then a. Ooh, this is probably pretty good. Beast ring shatter. Not bad, not bad. Actually, let's take the stack attacker. In a Korean box, we recently pulled a SSR stack attacker. So definitely check that video if you want to see what a shiny stack attacker looks like. Alright, guys. Another beast ring. Mimikyu. Rescue Stretcher, Bulbasaur, very cute. Petrisu, Unit Energy, ooh, Alolan Nine Tails. Even though it's not GX, I really like that art. And then a Sogaleo Prism Star, followed by a Greninja GX, very nice. Followed by a Slugma um, Shatter. All right, we got two packs left. Ah, oh, this thing. The only thing about these boxes is they open very quickly. Only ten packs for an entire box, but it's so much fun. We got a Cartana. Ultra Space, Wimpod, Riolu, Vulpix, Blaziken, a um, Duskmane Necrozma, follow, ooh, this is a nice one, Zoroark. Uh, that's another thing, if they just have all the GXs go out like that, oh, maybe that's why. So if they were to kind of have a GX per pack, I feel like it would make it too, like just way too easy to get a lot of the um, kind of the meta relevant cards. So theoretically potentially they're holding off so i don't know it's kind of like a delayed <laughs> money grab because everyone knows this thing's going to be a massive hit and then at that point it's really easy to assemble basically any deck that's i feel like it's like lost thunder or earlier that you need those cards um so i guess it is possible that they'll be loaded with a gx per pack i guess that is yeah maybe that's the case um 
However, if we kind of look back at Sh Ultra Sh or Shining Legends uh, in Dragon's Majesty, where they kind of like capped it off at everything, every pack has a hollow, not a GX. So I guess theoretically anything's possible, but uh, I guess I'm, it, I wouldn't be super surprised anymore if each pack had a uh, GX card. So we do Rushy Ram, Heatran. Ooh, I love this card. Duskmane Necrozma. By far the coolest Necrozma, I think. So yeah, absolutely amazing box. We did get three SRs plus a SSR, so we confirmed that it is definitely possible. Um, rare, but uh, wasn't a one-off fluke. Um, so, whew, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. Make sure you hit that like button uh, and to show you how excited you are for the Ultra Shiny set to come out in fall, probably. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support on the channel. As always, guys, I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.